Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and whoever's watching this, thank you. Welcome back to Rant Wednesday. We got a new visitor. There's a spider web in our cobweb. That means the ecosystem is working in here. And I see a couple of flies dangling in that joint. So that means that there's no flies in here. Good job, spiders. A A A. Well, I wanted to thank y'all for coming back. You know what we said. We're going to try to make this do what we do. And since last time I saw you, what happened? Somebody done ran into the Baltimore Motorland, a.k.a. Baltimore, Maryland, bridge. In a, in, how the fuck did you run into a bridge in a giant container ship? Right here, you'll notice this motherfucker hit this bridge, and it's going down faster than a credit score of a flying Hellcat owner, and it's gone. Didn't y'all have one of them satellite GPS echolocation dolphin type things that let you know, like, hey, bruh, there's a bridge right here, and somebody hit that motherfucker, and the bridge fell. It was, like, very cartoonish, bro. I cannot make this up. Also, uh, if you guys don't know, the god dang future, the god dang Metro Boomin, and the god dang Kendrick Lamar out there cooking up some nonsense on the tracks. Bro. No, no, that's not friendly this time, bro. But what are you talking about? They really, they really did. With that everlasting bass sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Rodney o, Rodney o, Rodney o. With the sample from the god dang Barry White, with the sample from the sample from the sample, and people are all like, Metro Boomin, he don't know what he doing, listen. If you're a fan of hip-hop like myself and you heard that, all I automatically heard was the Drought 3. Drought 3, bitch. From Mr. Lil Wayne. And then I want to get even deeper. I used to listen to Sirius Satellite XM old school hip-hop radio back in like 2005. So when they was playing, what was 2005? Like some young Jeezy type stuff. I was over here listening to Eric B and Rod Kim and all that stuff. God dang run DMC. Because it was just like, bro, that shit was kind of smooth back then. But I'm waiting. Mr. Drake, if you watch my rants or if you even entertain watching my rants. Or Mr. J. Cole, Mr. Jermaine Cole. J. Cole. Y'all, we need this for hip hop. Y'all don't understand. It ain't about who won, who won this. It's a bunch of soft-ass rapping going on these days. Kids are either talking about the dot dang perk 30s, the lean, uh, god dang standing on, I like that dude who stand on biggest, but big boss man the low, I like him. You wanna boss up your life? All you gotta do is get in. Good rapper. Uh, god dang, big X to plug. What's that, uh, got OT, OT overtime Mexican? Yo, is that that Mexican OT? That dude, I like him, Virgil. His name is Virgil. I like him. And then there's one more notorious person that we need to talk about. One more notorious person we need to talk about. Sean P. Diddy Perfect Combs. I don't know what type of illustrious activities you have been up to lately, but you need to fix your act. I knew something was up when I heard Biggie rapping them suspect bars. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. Talking about the girl looks so good she can suck her daddy's meat and other illustrious bars that make you question, how could you let the homie say this shit? But back then, you was just so manly, you could just say some suspect stuff and be like, damn. He ain't wrong. She is that bad. He no! There's no excuse for that accessory back in the day. It's a new day now. I can't speak for, for now, but that's none of my business. But Sean P. Diddy Combs, I knew it was something up with your black ass when you had the motherfuckers walking for cheesecake. <laughs> but I do want some cheesecake. I knew it was something with your black ass when you kept shutting down the studio on making the band. I used to watch making the band. I was rooting for Chopper. I was rooting for that fat, but dead looking motherfucker. And I was rooting for that light skinned girl. Dylon, you was never shit. You would never be shit. I remember he came in the studio acting harsh, hot shit, and then they had people battle. You remember when they had making the band and he had them have a single battle off? A singing battle off. A singing battle off. Sing, sing to him. Don't sing the song, no. Let him hear you. I ain't never seen nothing like that. No, when you hear a dude sing in real life, like low key, you're like, damn, this dude singing is very rare you hear a dude singing. So P. Diddy, I knew you was up to some diabolical treachery back in the day. And I could tell in your beady little eyes and them big ass dolphin teeth that look like chicklets from the Curacao that you was up to something and up to something no good. I heard all the stories. And people who were asking, what did he do? I guess the cops came and they raided both of his houses in Beverly Hills and in Miami. And they don't just raid your house for nothing. Either you pissed off the wrong people in your inner circle or you up to something no good. They haven't found nothing yet. 
it's just more or less like the cops wanted to do something. But like, ah, we got to do something this week to hide a, something. Uh, we ain't got no more submarines to sink. We ain't got no more boats to crash. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. He's always a good escape goat. They love it when they ethnic people do wrong things. Because if we put the white people on it, they don't really care. Personal opinion. Stay out of it. Don't raise it! And the people who stayed this long, I appreciate you. I don't know how long this was, but I told you. If there's something to talk about, we gonna talk about it. Hopefully, i see y'all next week. Be safe. Happy 4-3 day. Y'all go comment on some stuff about Mr. Block. He was a great dude. Shout out to you, boss man. Because I wouldn't be in the position of life that I am without your company. Stay safe. And most importantly, y'all stay black.